having a little bit of an off day today. Nothing really bad happened, but I'm just not feeling my best, so I'm gonna have a little self-care night. I love having little self-care nights. It makes me feel so much better, and also it's just fun, so I thought I'd bring you guys along this time. The so first off, we have an everything shower, except for I'm not gonna wash my hair because I just washed it last night, but I'm gonna do every other part of an everything shower. Wash, shave, exfoliate, you know the drill. I'm also gonna wash my face in the shower. So I'm gonna go get in the shower and blast Taylor Swift for like 30 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, also before I get in, I know it's kind of loud now because I have the shower on, but I forgot I bought this shower cap in my stocking, and I've never had one of these before. I always just put a towel over my head, so I'm gonna try this out, and I'll let you guys know how it works when I get out. Okay, I just finished my everything shower and squeegeed the whole shower. My shower cap actually worked great, and then my hair got wet, even like the bottom and the back did. Now I'm just gonna put lotion on my whole entire body and then put on my robe. Also, I've decided that I'm changing my favorite Taylor Swift song because for the last few years, it's been August, but I just decided I'm switching over to Long Live. Somehow I didn't know that song existed until a few months ago and now it's my favorite Taylor Swift song I just listened to it over and over the whole time I was in the shower but anyways I just got this in the mail today it's this moisturizer and I love all of Sol de Janeiro's products I smelled it earlier and it smelled amazing this one smells more like vanilla-y and less fruity and it smells so good so I'm gonna put this on my whole body I just dropped that in the sink. Also, my shower is dripping, so don't mind that sound. But I'm gonna put this on my whole body and then I'll be back. Okay, I finished putting on my body lotion. And this one is actually different than most of their body moisturizers. It's like super thick. It says it's for dry skin and repairs moisture barrier, but I really like it. I need to put on deodorant before I forget. Someone commented on one of my TikToks and said, why are you putting deodorant on at night? But I feel like it's gross to not put deodorant on after you get out of the shower. Like no matter what time of day it is. Also, I sweat in my sleep. I wouldn't wanna like wake up and put on deodorant the next day and not have it on all night maybe that's just me okay, i'm gonna take my hair out of this closet and then put on my little skincare headband also guys this drip avenue robe that mark got me for christmas is actually my favorite thing in this whole world if this was by far my favorite christmas present and definitely getting the best use the most use whatever then i forgot about my skincare headband for a little bit then one day i remembered it and now i use it every day anyways it's time to do my eyebrows i need to dye them and pluck them and probably also trim them oh my gosh i'm already sweating okay so how i trim my brows when they need it every once in a while i just brush up my eyebrows with this little eyebrow brush and then I have this little razor thing. I use it for like my mustache, my unibrow, which I definitely have a unibrow right now too. <gasps> Did I just shave off part of my eyebrow? I just shaved off part of my eyebrow. Okay, whoops. <gasps> my eyebrow looks so dumb. I shaved off that part of my eyebrow. <gasps> this has never happened before. Well, I guess I'll just put eyebrow dye right there. Oh my gosh, now I'm scared to trim them, but I just brush them up to get the top. My eyebrow looks so dumb. Then I also just go like on the top of my eyebrow and get all that little peach fuzz. I can't believe I just shaved off my eyebrow. That's literally never happened before. It's not horrible though. I don't think you can really tell. These baby hairs up here are bugging me so bad. I'm just gonna gel them down a little bit. So freaking hot in here. Yeah, I'm putting that razor away before I do anything else. Now I'm gonna pluck them. I don't pluck my eyebrows too seriously. I just get if there's any like real outliers here. Now that my eyebrow's tiny on one side, I'm gonna dye them and I use this men's beard dye. I got this on Amazon. I've had this for over a year and I've used it so many times and it still has so much left. And I'm pretty sure it was like five $5. Obviously mine is really dirty because I've used it a lot. So you mix equal parts of the color and the developer and I just mix them in this little tin thing then put it on my eyebrow with this little spoolie. I'm just gonna get equal amounts. I'm also gonna do my eyelashes. I just do it on the ends. My eyelashes are really long but the tips of them are like white. I literally use this tiny of an amount and just mix them together. My tin is so gross because I've used it so many times. Now I'm just gonna get it on the spoolie and put it on my eyebrow. Then I'm gonna do the other side. I don't leave this on for very long because it gets really dark. First time I did it, my eyebrows were like black after. I'm just gonna leave this on for like three minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes, counting down. And I'll just take like a little Q-tip and clean up any spots that are outside of my eyebrow. This one already looks pretty dark. Then I'm gonna add some to my eyelashes. It says on the box, do not get near eyes, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I don't put it all the way down too, just on the tips. Okay, now we wait. Also, I forgot to say, I have pretty dark hair and I use the shade medium brown and it's perfect. Okay, the timer just went off, so now I'm gonna take it off with this clean skin towel. It looked pretty dark. I might have left this on for too long. I just wipe it off. Yeah, actually that looks pretty good. It's actually turned out perfect. I'm gonna take off this one. I accidentally just wiped off my whole eyelash too. And then I'm just gonna brush them 
now. They aren't too different because I already have dark eyebrows, but I like them to be just a little bit darker. And they also get pretty light on the tips right here, so I like to fill those in too. Now I'm gonna take off my eyelashes. I really wanna get this Lash Lift and Tint Kit on Amazon. My friend sent it to me on Instagram and it looks so good. And she said it works super well, so I'm gonna need to invest in that. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes so you can see what it looks like. My eyelashes won't curl because they're still wet, but I feel like you can tell they're darker. They just look longer. They actually turn out pretty good. Okay, now it's time for skincare. I already washed my face, so now I'm gonna put on the Paul's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I've been using this for a while and I love it so much. Because of my ring light setup right here and my camera's quality is so good, you can see every tiny little thing on my face. But I feel like this has cleared up my skin so much. And when I stopped using it for a little bit, I started breaking out so bad. And then I'm gonna put on this Just Ingredients Face Oil, or it might be called a body oil, I don't know. But I just do a few drops of that and put it all over my face. I have this in the scent Citrus and it smells amazing. It smells like oranges. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my chin because I started using a gua sha. I don't know if it's really done anything yet. Okay, I can't talk while I touch my throat. Before I do that, I'm gonna put on these eye patches. I got these in my stocking and I'm obsessed with them. I've been using them every single day. They're also from Amazon. They feel so good under my eyes and they're also just fun to use. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit while I use this gua sha on my face. I honestly don't even know if I'm doing this right. I've just watched so many people on TikTok do it. And I don't have like a set amount of time I do it for, just kinda until I feel like I'm done. <laughs> it also makes my face really red. I'm gonna switch to the other side. It literally looks like I have a cold sore on my lip, but it's just a zit. Been there for a few days and it won't go away. My next video is gonna be a prep and pack for Hawaii. I'm literally leaving a week from today. I'm so excited. Me and Mark have only been on a plane together one time and it was to go to my mom's wedding in Mexico. But I'm excited to go on another plane together. Our second of many, hopefully. Okay, I'm bored of washing my face, so I'm done. Next up, I'm gonna brush my teeth. You guys, if you're not using this toothpaste, you need to be. It is my favorite toothpaste ever. Okay, then for mouthwash, I have this TheraBreath. Whatever this one is, the one that everyone has on TikTok. When I was doing it before I brushed my teeth, people told me I was supposed to do it after, and then when I did it after, people said I was supposed to do it before, but I think it's all the same. And if you are gonna get that mouthwash, make sure you get the pink one over the green one because the green one tastes terrible and the pink one tastes way better. My four front teeth right here are veneers and they're still new, so sometimes they're really hard to get a flosser in between. I just had to switch out my SD card because it's all the way full. But for lips, I'm gonna use Little Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this. My mom got me a little mini one. This flavor is sweet candy, but honestly, all of them are so good. This is the best for chapped lips. I layer it on. Also, I forgot one of my New Year's resolutions is to drink more water. So I've been trying to drink a Stanley every day, which doesn't seem like a lot of water, but when you never drink water like me, this is a lot of water to drink in a day. So I have to just sit down and force myself to drink all of this. And of course I did have like three Dr. Peppers today. I love drinking a bunch of water right after you brush your teeth and just feels so clean. Okay, I need to take my contacts out. This is honestly the best part of the day. And the worst part of the day is when I have to put them back in. I'm just gonna fill up my little case. You should probably look away if you don't like this, but I'm gonna grab them out. I've been wearing contacts since I was in the seventh grade, so seven years. And I had glasses for like a year before that. I'm gonna take these off now so I can put my glasses on. Then I'm gonna put on this Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. You can put this on in the morning and at night. I think it is the same thing as the eye patches. But I just like to put it on because it's fun. But it's funny because me and both my sisters have really bad eyesight. We all have glasses, but neither of my parents do. And also neither of my grandparents on either side do. So I don't know where we got our bad eyesight from. My older sister has it the worst and then me and my younger sister have the same prescription but it definitely sucks and i would love to get lasik but i'm way too scared of them having to do surgery on my eye while i'm awake just holding open my eye and i'm also just scared of what could go wrong because you can literally go blind now that I have my glasses on it's gonna be annoying because you can see the ring reflection in them but i got these glasses from i buy direct and i have so many glasses from there that i ordered myself it's not sponsored and they're like the cheapest glasses i think these were literally like 30 dollars and they're so cute and my other prescription glasses were like $300 and they're not even as cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my pajamas now. I have this cute little pink silk pajama set. I got this on Amazon just like everything else I own. I'm pretty sure it was like $25 and I've gotten so much use out of this. Here's a little pajama set on. It's literally my favorite thing ever and it's so comfy. Then I'm gonna put in some dry shampoo. I love this one from Just Ingredients. It's vanilla and mint. It smells like candy canes and it's darker for dark hair and my roots are really dark so I like this. It's like a powder so you just press it down and then I don't rub it in all 
all the way I'll just let it sit overnight and then when I wake up it's rubbed in but it still works so good my hair also isn't too greasy right now so I'm just gonna put a little bit but I'm obsessed with this flavor or scent whatever it is and I'm just gonna brush out my hair again and now it's time to put away everything I just used my counter is like filled with stuff right now and the last thing before I go get in my bed and read my book I love this LED light mask from Theraface they sent me this but I've fallen in love with it you can read all the benefits online but there are so many good benefits of this light mask and it also helps with like aging and acne so I'm gonna put it on my face and I'm gonna look silly but it has like a nine minute treatment that does all the settings so I'm gonna turn this on and then I'm gonna go in my bed and get my book I'm about to start reading the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo I got it for Christmas in my stocking and I've heard it's so good so I'm excited to start it but I'm gonna put on my light mask and start the setting okay time for bed <laughs> 